Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you're good. Now today we are going to do something unusual. I was recently asked by one of my lovely followers not to paint on canvas but paint on something different and that made me think. I went for a walk today and I actually got really inspired. I saw this shrub covered with butterflies. I know butterflies love these plants. There's another one, a bit lighter. I think it's called Budlia. So this is my inspiration for this dip. I came home and I started looking for something different than canvas. And I found this. I just sometimes keep some plastic sheets or pieces of glass just in case. And I thought, how about actually painting on glass today, making an interesting dip and then making some experiment with butterflies, but differently. Recently, I made a silhouette butterfly but this time I want to do something different. The glass is going to be the main piece today. The colors we are going to be using are mainly phthalo green, rose pink, carnation pink, deep violet by Dalla Brownie. Pearl white, titanium white, pearl electric blue, rose, pearl lilac. Okay, so how are we going to do it? I'm going to make a dip and I'll show you what I have in mind. Now there are many ways you can make a dip. I could just lay up my paints and then just spread the napkin on and lift it up. But I think I'm, I want to get a slightly different effect. So I'm making some marks on my table, removing the glass. And yes, I'm going to spread the paints just directly onto the surface. I don't want too much paint. This is going to be the bottom part. So I'll just drizzle some of the deep paler blue. It's a nice dark color. That's for the vegetation. A little bit lighter green. I want the green predominantly here at the bottom. I love experiments so much. Maybe not in real life, but with art. I absolutely love experimenting. I like trying new techniques. Well, you never know. The result might be really, really pleasing. And if you don't try, you will never find out. So a bit of blue, maybe here, the sky. This is probably the easiest technique ever. Very, very pleasant. As you've noticed, I actually did not coat the background because usually for dip, you would just spread paint and then drizzle colors. But I, I'm looking for something else. And as I said, if it doesn't work, well, fair enough. But if it does, I'll be very happy. I've got a bit of darker blue. And don't worry, nothing will happen to my table. It's plastic. I'll clean it. I'll actually press something else onto the colors not to waste the paint later on. Not that much pink, but just in some places. Okay, purple. Ooh, these nice colors, light colors. Look at this, that's so pretty. What is it? Carnation pink. Beautiful. So I'm imagining there's some kind of sky. Uh, some flowers that won't be seen too much and then the deeper, deeper grass and some shrubs. I think I'll add more green. So I'm getting excited. If I haven't tried anything and I'm always trying during the tutorial, I did not try that before. I want to surprise myself. So let's see if I'll be scraping it or not. This is fun. This is seriously fun can do it if you have children or if you teach children. They will really enjoy this technique. Okay, I'm ready. I'm pretty excited. So let's just put our glass down. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just enjoying it. Look at that. What do we want? Do we want to go up this way? Well, that would be interesting. What if I just lift it up like this? Oh. Hope it won't break. Oh my goodness. Ah, the suction. Yes. Look how beautiful. Oh, okay. Really, 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 really happy. Or do you think it's just too pronounced? Well, well, that was fun. I'm going to just 
mute the colors a bit. I don't want them to be so, so vibrant. You will see why in a minute. So I am going to put a bit more blue. But it worked perfectly well. Absolutely, really nicely. It's just a bit too vibrant for what I'm planning to do. You will see later on why. And you wouldn't believe it, but it's such a small amount of paint I'm using. I also found some leftover olive green. So I'm just, just adding a bit here. I'm sure that will do. Just want to show you the light. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It would be wonderful in the window. Okay. Second trial. Spreading the colours, hopefully. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. This is the most beautiful thing ever. Yes, that's it. I'm so happy with this one. I'm so happy. So now I'm going to press something onto this because I don't want to waste the paint. I'm moving this away and then we'll proceed with this project. I'm going to press another piece onto it. See, so I can make a few more backgrounds for some other pieces. My plan is to create some of those lovely flowers without destroying this nice background. So I'm going to just make some dots of light purple to create the shape. So this is going to be my biggest. So nice when the background is wet, it's really easy to sort of spread the colors nicely. Now I am going to use the darker purple and make some dots on this one especially. Oh, it might be nice, you know. I might put music on and just make those little ones. Trying to blend the colors in a bit, if possible. I'm actually getting some small petals. Pouring acrylics is such, so many possibilities and undiscovered territories. I just love experimenting. Look at that. I am actually getting what I wanted. I'm just getting those little flowers. Apologies for the banging, but you know it's glass, so. And this one will be really blended. No, I think I'm super happy. Okay, let's just leave it. This was probably the easiest sort of nature painting you've seen. I'm going to show you something quite exciting. Look what happens. You see that? Imagine actually a lamp made out of these. Well, maybe that'll be my next project. How awesome is that? Okay, so part two. We are going to make a butterfly because I do want some butterflies here. I actually had some leftover paints from my last butterfly video. So I decided to use the same colors for the swipe. Here's a list of all the colors I used. So I'm just going to drizzle my colors somewhere here. I am going to move the paints a bit so there are no gaps in between. There's plenty of yellow. It's probably more than I need. Maybe a bit more darker red some places. I added one drop of coconut hair serum, which is uh, which contains dimethicone, which is a silicone replacement. It's a really small amount of black. Just checking the consistency. We're ready to swipe. I'm spraying my napkin with water for the swipe and now applying black. I just want to test if the yellow will be visible under black or is it going to turn into some nasty greenish color. We are ready. Touching the black really gently. Hmm, I really like this part. Not so sure about that one. 
So how about applying some more color here and swiping half away through this way? But I really don't want to go further than this part, so I really want to make a little swipe. Like really, really small, because I do like all that section. Okay, now precision work. Lift it up. Yes. Oh, pretty, pretty. And hopefully that's going to be a nice butterfly's wing. So I add a drop of Dimethicon into my gold and I'll swipe this way. Spraying the napkin. Our butterfly skins are ready. Look how beautiful the cells look. So this was my old template. I think it might be a bit too big for my painting. So I am going to scale it down, uh, maybe even the same shape, but just smaller. So I traced my butterfly, but I made it slightly smaller on just a bit of trace. Actually, it's not tracing paper, this is baking paper, but you can use tracing paper, of course. I couldn't find any. And I'm just going to look at which sections I like. Oh, I love these. They will be awesome. I think I might even cut the wings separately, I'm thinking at the moment, and the body separately as well, because then I can choose a really nice edge. What do you think? I think that's my favorite part for this wing. And then for this one, I probably go towards this side and choose something here with the with more black. So now the fun part, the best part ever, peeling off the skin. That should be exciting. I'm sure but there'll be some edges that are thinner than others. This is super satisfying. I'm just going to cut it as it is. There are several more videos when I use acrylic skins, if you want to watch. I did a really nice one with three cats that you might enjoy, and some plants as well. This will take me a couple of minutes. Time for the second wing. Cut his little body as well. Let's see. <laughs> what do you think? I'll probably try it in a few places, see where I like it the most. One wasn't enough, so I cut a really small one. One will be somewhere here. And a really, really just a faint resemblance of a butterfly that will go, I don't know, somewhere like this. What do you think? I always think about the composition and I'll try to figure out which place is best, which one I like it best. I don't know. So let, let me glue these. I think I might just use a regular PVA. Another solution, if you don't have any glue, would be actually using the paint, acrylic paint. Especially if your painting is still half wet. That should get stuck really, really well. This is exactly the same product. I don't have to worry that it's going to peel off on the resin or there'll be any air bubbles. I'm thinking maybe I should outline some of the bodies here, just in black, or add a darker shadow. Well, that was a super easy project. It looks much more complicated than it was because you know how easy that was to just make a dip and then little swipe here, cut out the butterfly, and we've got a really nice piece. Also, once the resin comes, I won't worry that's going to break. I will attach a hook at the back and it can actually go on the wall even without frames. It's going to be quite interesting because it's different. I could also add little antennas, I suppose. Before we are going to resin the piece, I have to tell you a couple of things. So first of all, 
Because there was a drop of silicone in the paints when I was making the butterfly, I had to clean the surface. So I just used a wet sponge with some soapy water and I wiped it off. Make sure it's dry before you apply resin. And the second thing, make sure your painting is level, completely level. So I checked all the corners. You don't want your resin to be dripping off one side and then exposing another. So that's that's one thing. Now, uh, my, the resin I'm going to use is safe. However, I strongly recommend using a respirator. I'm going to put gloves on and I'll show you what to do next. This is my resin, it's called Mastercast. It's very good for, especially for art pieces. It says one to one, that means one part of resin to one part of hardener. I measured 40 milliliters of resin and 40 milliliters of hardener, and I'm just going to mix it really well for about three, four minutes. Always make sure you are scraping the bottom really well and the edges. Okay, it's well mixed, and I'm applying the resin now. Plenty of bubbles, but they will disappear. I think glass is super easy. Not that I did it before. I did not. This is my first time putting resin on glass, except for some glass coasters. I did that, but not with a painting. But glass is perfectly level, no sagging. Can you see all the bubbles? Actually, it was so easy applying the resin. Just, just like tiny two drips. Perfect. And the edge is so crisp. Okay, so I'm going to remove the bubbles. See how they disappear? The colors really, really pop now. Can you imagine the light underneath? You can see that? <laughs> Okay, so let's cover it to protect it from any dust falling. And now let's take a look at the finished piece. Well, there you are. I'm really happy how it turned out today. Honestly, some of the techniques we used today were crazy. The patterns from the dip were so organic and I'm glad it worked on the bigger piece as well. Look how the gold glistens in the light. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, maybe consider giving the video a like and be sure to join me every Saturday when my videos premiere and I chat to my subscribers live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.